Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. I'm going to wait a couple of minutes to give everyone a chance to log on, and we'll be starting shortly. All right, thank you for coming to today's pop-up webinar about users and user roles. I'm so excited to walk through this content with you all. As a note, microphones will be muted for the duration of the call, but we would love to answer your questions if you have them. On your end, you should see a Q&A section where you can type your questions as we go. My teammates are with us today and will be responding to those. In the next 30 to 40 minutes, we will dive deep into how you can create, manage, and delete users in Triple Seat. And we will also review how to customize the roles available so they make the most sense for your business. I hope that by the end of this training, you feel empowered to manage your team in Triple Seat. So let's start by going to Settings, Users. On this page, you will see everyone whose role is equivalent to or lesser than yours in terms of permissions. In the main portion of the screen, you will find each user represented as a row, their name, the email address associated with their login, their job title, and their user role. If someone has access to multiple locations, you can hover over the location count to preview where specifically they can access, like so. Then at the very top of the page, you will find tools that you can use to slice through the data. You can use the search bar here to look for an existing user by their name or email. You can also filter by location, which is very useful for doing a QA check of your current employees. And you're able to filter by role. You will also find a checkbox here labeled display suspended users. So let's say one of our employees, Betty, was furloughed, but plans to start back up again next week. To return her triple seat access, you will want to check that display suspended users box at the top. And then her name will appear here and you can click on that. You can return Betty's access by selecting this user is active here. If it's been a while since her last login, you can also manually create a password for her. And if you hit update at the bottom of the page, Betty will be able to go to login.tripleseat.com, enter her email and the new password we've created to access her account again. Another question we're hearing a lot more of in support is how to add new users. So let's say you've hired a new event planner to create them in Triple Seat. We'll start from our settings users page and click new user in the upper right. We will start here by entering their first and last name, as well as their email address.
they will use this email to log in and Triple C will route notifications and guest messages to that email listed. You also do have the option to add multiple email addresses to this account and the user can sign in through any of those. However, email notifications will only be sent to the primary email listed. Next, we'll add her job title, whatever they would have on their LinkedIn page. Manner. And we can also enter a phone number here. You'll see in the upper right, there are three more selections that we can make. The first of which being show sales activity. If you assign goals to users in Triple C and you plan to set a goal for Willa, you will want to check this. That will ensure that when she signs in, she sees her goals as long as her progress towards those goals on the dashboard. Daily digest and daily tasks emails as well. That ensures that the user opts into daily reminder emails about events and leads at their venue, as well as any tasks that they have for the day. So we can check that off. Then in the lower section of the page is where we will define Willa's user role. The first option here would be to make her a customer admin. As we will review, user roles are very customizable in Triple Seat. However, the customer admin is the only role whose function and whose title cannot be adjusted. That is because it is the highest level of permission available. Unlike other admins, Triple Customer admins can integrate Triple Seat with an online payment processor, and they are the only ones who can unequivocally customize other global user roles. Willa is just an event planner, so we will not be giving her the customer admin access. Even if she did need access to settings, we would still choose to not make her a customer admin. I'm sure that this audience can understand what happens if there are too many cooks in the kitchen. So therefore, it's much better to designate that high level of access to only a handful of folks. Instead, we will start by selecting a location at which Willa should have access. Once we select a location, the dropdowns will unlock, as you can see. Now you can give Willa a role from one of two categories. If you click on the default role for dropdown, you will see what we refer to as global roles. Global roles allow the most customization around what one can and cannot access. And that is why it is the primary way to define user functionality. If you only have one location in Triple C, you should only ever select from the global roles in this list. Additionally, if you have 10 locations in Triple Seat, but the user you're creating only works for one of the businesses, you would still only want to use the global roles from the drop down here. So, with that, let's make Willa a general user. As long as the drop down to the right of the location says default role, that means she will have that global general user access at that location. Now, the second type of role that you may give a user is a location-based role. These are designated for multi-location groups whose users work at multiple businesses and need different levels of permissions at some compared to others. Compared to the global roles that we previewed in the default role dropdown, location-based roles are much less customizable. So they are ideal for giving limited access to a second or third location. So let's say that at Alex's Trattoria, which is Willa's primary place of employment, she is gonna need the more robust general user role. However, she may also need to be able to submit leads at Bagels Forever and Mr. Crepe. If you click the drop down to the right of Bagels Forever, 
you can choose a location-based role, and that will override the permissions from her global role that we selected above. So rather than giving her that full default access we defined previously, we will give her limited access to Bagels Forever. Here, we will give her the leads only location-based role. And we will do the same for Mr. Crate. Finally, we can click create at the bottom of the page and that will send Willa a welcome email that she can use to sign into Triple Seat for the first time. On the flip side, there are times when you have to revoke someone's access to Triple Seat. Let's say for instance that Dominique here has resigned from her permission, from her position. If you click on her name, you will notice there are two ways to revoke her access. The first option would be to suspend her. For this, deselect the box that says this user is active, like so. Then when you click update down here, that will prevent Dominique from logging in in the future, but it will still keep her name on events and leads that she was in charge of. That means you can run reports on her events historically, even though she no longer works at the business. And as we reviewed before, you can easily display users who have been suspended and very easily restore their access in Triple Seat. The second method by which you can remove a user from Triple Seat would be to delete them. Compared to suspending, this action is more drastic and cannot be reversed on your end. If you know for sure that Dominique is not coming back to the company, you could use the delete user icon in the upper right of the page. Triple C will then ask you to assign someone to inherit all of her leads, contacts, tasks, and events, and it will mass reassign everything from her to them. If your business pays employees on a commission-based structure, keep in mind that because all of Dominique's events are tr being transferred to someone else, it will look as though they did much more in sales than what may be accurate. So we can delete there and she's good to go. Okay, wonderful. We have just covered the first half of today's content, all of which had to do with user management. So I'm gonna go ahead and give us a minute or two for last questions on that section before moving on. Okay, now we will pivot to the second half of today's webinar in which we discuss the types of roles available and how you may customize them for your business. As a friendly note, the types of changes we're about to review can only be performed by those with customer admin access. All attendees are welcome to stay, but again, if you do not have that high level user role, you may not be able to make these same kinds of edits. With that being said, let's go over to settings and user roles here. Because user roles are customizable, the names and number of roles that you see on your page may differ. However, when we first set up a business in Triple Seat, the page looks more or less like so. Placed at the top are our global roles here. 
These are what will show on the default role dropdown for a given user, like we just saw with Willa. They are robust, customizable options. That should be the primary way of defining a user's access. Additionally, we have our location-based roles here at the bottom of the page. Again, these are for multi-location groups who may have between two and 200 locations in triple seat. And these are far less customizable and can be given to provide someone with limited access to a second or third location. Another question that comes up often is how to increase the level of permissions for an existing role. So let's pretend that our junior admin previously helped manage pick lists, but now we want them to contribute even more towards managing the tools that our entire team relies on. So let's review how to make changes by clicking into the junior admin role here. On this page, you can adjust the scopes of permission for all junior admins through checkboxes or dropdowns. You will also find blue reference boxes throughout the page that further explain what each type of permission means. The first change we will want to make to the junior admin role will be to increase the level of settings access available. In order for a user to access anywhere within settings, they must have that settings button in their left sidebar. So we will make sure that's checked off here. And then we can define more specifically where the junior admin may go. So previously the junior admin was only responsible for managing pick lists, but now we want these folks to build and update email templates, to manage custom fields, as well as automatic tasks, and also to update content templates. All we have to do is check the box to give those folks the ability to view and access those places. Please note that anytime we define permissions with a checkbox here on this page, like so, the user will be able to both view and edit. Then scrolling down, we'll see users and user roles, which looks very similar. I will go ahead and select the first checkbox for users. Let's say we do want help adding and managing users at our business. However, I do not want the junior admin managing or creating roles, so I will make sure to leave that unchecked. Scrolling down to accounts and contacts, here we will find our first of the drop down options, as opposed to the check boxes, which is where you can further customize what type of access a user has to this section. This list will show up in hierarchical order from least to most permissions. So, of course, no access here would be the lowest level of permissions. And then going all the way up, delete all is the highest level of access. Whenever you make a selection, the blue reference box will adjust to explain what that access means, as you can see here. Now under events, we have a dropdown that allows for different levels of access. Right now, the junior admin can view events, but they are not able to create edit, delete, or administer events. We can also see that under the dropdown, we have checkboxes that appear for additional customization. For example, if you would not like this user to be able to view financials or discussions on the events, those areas can be deselected. So let's update this role to edit all events. The additional checkboxes will update here, and you are able to select whether or not this user should be permitted to perform refunds and discounts. Then under leads, currently the junior admin is able to submit leads, 
but we're going to update that to be able to create and edit leads. And as we can see again, the blue reference box will update describing what that role means. And you also do get some additional customizations here, allowing the ability to turn down or convert leads. Under tasks, we will update this to close others tasks. Again, our box will update here describing what that allows. I will also go down and check off the calendar here to allow the user ability to view and utilize the calendar. Additionally, if we would like the junior admin to be able to utilize the reporting tab in Triple Seat, that can be checked off here. And then you're also able to select which reports you would like them to be able to access. Next, we'll scroll down to templates and layouts down at the bottom of the page here. This is very important because even if you never create a custom role from scratch, you may create a new document template or layout. And whenever you create an entirely new document, you have to make sure that new document is available to existing roles in order for them to be able to create or view them on events. So let's say, for example, that the contract and event order here is a newly created document, and I can see that is not checked off for this user role, so we will have to update that. To start, under template, if they need to be able to create and edit docs for events, as well as enter pick list info and notes, we'll want to check that off under template here. Additionally, if they need to view the final product and share that with the guest or with their team, we'll want to select layout access here. You can also select which specific layouts this user role will have access to. For example, if you do not want them to be able to view the kitchen sheet, you can uncheck that and they will not be able to see that. Okay, and that's all for here. So we're gonna go ahead and click update. And now let's take a look at one of the location-based roles. We'll click into leads only here. As you can see, there are fewer fields available to define and that's why you really want to rely on global roles for primary access. So let's say we want to make this role available to also view events. I'll go ahead and update the name here and the drop down for events as well. Then click update. Now to drive all this home, let's go full circle. Imagine that Willa has been with us for a few months now and she's getting a promotion. So in addition to running point on events, she's also going to be helping with some admin work. Let's go back into settings, users. And we can update Willa's role to junior admin using that dropdown here. Because she has the default role for Alex's Trattoria, her global role will now update and she will be able to have that extra settings access to Alex's Trattoria. And her location-based role will still exist at Bagels Forever and Mr. Crepe. We'll go ahead and update that. And there we have it. We've just covered all of today's content. As a final tip when promoting users to a role with settings access, please feel free to recommend that they pop into our webinar about settings, customizations, and tools. This is a great starting point for folks wishing to learn more about those areas, and they can register at triplesetcom slash events. A recording of this call will be sent to the email address that you entered when registering for the webinar. Our team will stick around for the remainder of the time to answer any questions you may have, and if any questions come up later, please contact our team by clicking the help buttons, the help questions button from any page in Triple Seat. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.